Well, inflation and labor shortages have now trickled down to small businesses, giving them another challenge they have to combat during the pandemic. News Channel 5's Sina Sleem gives an in-depth look at the problem and how it's going to affect consumers. Small businesses have been struggling during the pandemic, and they're having trouble keeping their businesses open because product prices are going up. Perla Salas owns a hair salon in South Nashville. She says her customers already have a tough time making ends meet. A lot of people lost their job. A lot of people lost family. Which is why for months she kept her prices the same as they were pre-COVID. I know that a kid wants to look good, but mom and dad don't have the money because they lost their job. Somebody can help you that moment. And if I can, I will. And that's why I was like, I keep my price. That is until now. I don't want to lose my customers and it is rough. Because I know I was telling my dad, you know, 2022, you know, I was telling my customers, hey, maybe next year I'm going to go up due to the products that are going up. Supply prices have been inflated due to ongoing disruptions in shipping and manufacturing. So the price went up for us on the shampoos and products. The Biden administration has taken steps to try and ease the supply chain issue, including having ports in Southern California working around the clock. But some small businesses say it's too late forcing owners like Solace to unwillingly increase the price of their services. And I'm still having trouble getting more products in due to what's going on in California. Solace is trying to look at the bright side, though. Being the only employee and her own boss, Solace doesn't have to deal with the labor shortage issues that many employees are seeing as well. A victory in her eyes. In Nashville, Sina Sleem, News Channel 5. The ability to pay rent has also threatened thousands of small businesses. In a recent survey by Small Business Majority, it reported that among U.S. small businesses who rent or own their business space, 78% are struggling with their rent.